Now, we're going to move on to our next cruise, cruise number three. This is the first time we brought it to air. Yeah, Voyages to Antiquity. Again, a wonderful uh, cruise company that have been around for, you know, for, for several years, but they're very specialist in what they do. And they offer a fantastic opportunity for people to really explore, uh, particularly the Eastern Mediterranean and different parts of the world in real depth. They have one ship, the Aegean Odyssey, which you're seeing pictures of now. And the great thing about this is that it's what we call, in a sense, more inclusive cruising pool, because... You're going to you know, not believe this, but you get for the price on screen, not only a great chance to see all these ports in depth, but you also get all your tips included. You get oh, your wow. wine and you get your beer on all your meals. So you wow. get your drink supplied while you're having your meals. And you get tours. And at least one tour per port. Plus, sometimes there's more than one tour to choose from. They are included in the price. So it's incredibly good value. So basically, all the big hitters for these ports that you're going to, you get to explore them. So really, you're not getting any extra costs on the price of what you're seeing there. So if you enjoy history, culture, the natural wonders of the world, you're looking for yeah. a cruise that's what destination rich. This is this is it. They have, they have a couple of guest speakers on board because they don't do shows in the evening. They have their classical music. They have nice piano reviews, as you're seeing here. Yeah. What they focus on is the guest speakers and, and a great relaxing environment for people to enjoy. And these guest speakers, people from the University of London, uh, Arabic expert, um, Ar um, Islamic art experts yeah. as well, will actually bring to life these places that you're getting to visit. It's incredible. Beautiful little ship and it's a great thing if you are a solo traveller because they don't penalise single travellers. That's unusual. So the isn't single it? prices on this are very, very, very good. When we say smaller ship, how many guests are we looking We're at? We're only looking at three hundred and fifty guests. Though the Brilliant. ship is built to take five hundred, when they they completely refitted it and they refitted it and gave more space to the three fifty rather than cramming in five hundred. It's absolutely brilliant. So you know, if you're after a cruise where you aren't feeling like there's lots and lots of people on board, this is one to consider. Let's go on the ship and have a look around it. Better way to start a voyage to the Aegean than with the two night hotel stay in Istanbul. You'll have time to soak up the atmosphere of this vibrant city. Visit the stunning Hagia Sophia and enter a mystical and intriguing world in the famous Grand Bazaar. On your first day at sea, you will sail through the Dardanelles and past Mount Athos on the way to Thessalonica, home to some of the most sparkling examples of Byzantine artistic endeavor and a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Next, you will call at Volos for an unforgettable visit to the mountaintop monasteries of Meteora. The name literally means suspended in midair, and these majestic sandstone columns in the sky soar up over a thousand feet above sea level. Then, set sail for Skiathos, a small Greek island in the northwest Aegean Sea, where you will enjoy a free morning. Take a stroll around the walled town and perhaps sample the local olives, honey and almond sweets. In Athens, you can discover the ancient Acropolis and some of the site's most important buildings, including the Parthenon, the Erechthion and the Temple of Athens. If you wish to do something different, then our half-day Byzantine Athens tour is the ideal choice and is also included. Santorini is next on your itinerary, and your included tour here features the recently reopened Minoan settlement of Akrotiri. For an insight into the culture that laid the foundation for Greek civilization, from Fira, the island's capital, Enjoy a magnificent panoramic view of the 18 kilometers long caldera. The island of Rhodes is next, and a visit to the old town and Grand Master's Palace will reveal the role of Rhodes as a strategic crossroads in Crusader times. Back in Turkey, at the port of Fethiye, discover the ancient center of prophecy called Telmesos, and from Kusadasi, Visit the city of Ephesus, one of the best preserved sites in the Aegean, and in its heyday, on a par with Athens and Rome. This magnificent exploration of the Aegean ends with a choice of included tours from Kanakali, a visit to Gallipoli, 
in the year of its centenary to see the moving battlefields and war memorials of World War I, or to the UNESCO World Heritage Site of Troy, which has fired the imagination of poets over thousands of years. Guest speakers on this voyage are Dr. David Price Williams, one of our most popular speakers, and an expert on the Eastern Mediterranean and all aspects of Near Eastern culture, history, and archaeology. And Rachel Ward, an expert on Islamic art and a NADFAS accredited lecturer. Great. Could you maybe yeah. tell us about some of the tours we get? Yeah, because again, the big thing about this, and this is why it makes it such good value, is the fact that there's so many free tours included. So let me give you very quickly an idea. So in Thessaloniki, your first port, you get a city tour, a chance to see all that lovely Byzantine um, architecture. Um, then when you're in Volos, you go to see the Meteora monasteries. Many of those are uninhabited. They used to have a literally, a, they take you up in a basket, but now they've cut some stairs in, so it's quite good fun. Um, uh, Skiathos is, is a great day just to relax, because uh, it's a very, very small island, beautiful. But Athens, then you get an Acropolis tour added, and and again, I'm just mentioning some of them. There are options in some of these ports as well. In Santorini, you get a chance to go to Akrotiri, um, which is a beautiful, um, a beautiful, beautiful set of remains, one of the best in Greece. Then you go through to Rhodes, and in Rhodes you get, you get, to get a chance to go to Lindos to go to the Acropolis, one of the best views in the whole of Greece. Again, that is included. Um, you get a great chance uh, then to go through and, and get a chance to go to the ancient cities of Patara and Xanthos as well. When you get to Ephesus in Chrysodassi, um, oh, amazing. you're getting a great chance to go through to Ephesus and have, a, and have a tour to explore that in one of the greatest preserved classical cities in the libraries of Celsus. All of this is included. All of this is included in the price you're seeing on the screen. It's what I find is so incredible. And then finally, Chinakali, um, you're getting a chance to go and explore um, the, the Gallipoli um, monuments. So mm. again, right the way through the Dardanelles, you've got all the different cemeteries there, all the different monuments, uh, and to really pay your respects to that, that war, you know, kind of series of war sites from World War One, where Mustafa Appa's Turk, the father of Turks, made his name. Oh, I was lucky enough to do that itinerary for around two years, and it is a big thumbs up for it. It's really, yeah, if you love stunning. history, you love culture, that's one to consider. Uh, exclusive free onboard spend of $250. That's if you go for, well, that's for the cabins, and that is exclusive with Planet Cruise. You've got return flights from London, plus overseas transfers included. You've got your single special on that as well. Uh, 2,189 pounds, so you haven't got to worry about you know, doubling the price just because you're on your own. And we can add up to a two night stay in Istanbul, as mentioned in the video. You just call the team, the number's at the bottom of the screen, call the team and talk about the details. Let's go through the ID number on this one. It's on the left hand side on that blue bar, 96004. 96004. And again, anything we don't uh, cover, and you think, oh, if only I knew this, call the team. They're going to be there till 10.30 tonight. To talk to you. It's easy to get in touch with us as well. Uh, three easy ways to do that. You can sign up for the newsletter, which I personally recommend because then you get an email every now and again. It's not every day, every now and again, and they'll make sure you're up to date on some of those great deals. Of course, you've got the opportunity to call. Why not ask for that free brochure? See what some of the cruises are so you can plan the future. And of course, you've also got the opportunity to go to the website. And they've also got things like Facebook and Twitter. And they've got a um, Planet Cruise have a YouTube channel as well, yeah. which is brilliant because then you can see some of the holidays.